Hi there, a uh, long time, but I just thought I'd share uh, some of my views uh, because there are just about uh, three to four months remaining for your uh, board exams to be precise about three months. I'm taking this video in the beginning of December. So I'm sure you'll be hearing a lot of stuff right now. People giving you a lot of tips, a lot of suggestions. I am not here to give you any tips or suggestions or you know uh, like you follow this and you will be able to score full marks, nothing like that. I am just here to provide a calming effect to soothe you all and to make you feel you know more relaxed. So all I will say you know whatever people say like there are basically two suggestions people try and make right now. One is that okay now all this learning, learning and all is over. Now you need to know how to write on, write on uh, paper and express your ideas in the form of written uh, material and secondly that you need to focus on presentation so these two things are often given a lot of importance now I am not here to kind of uh, completely disregard them or say that these two suggestions are absolutely worthless they are important you must focus on writing because ultimately it's how you present and how you write on the final day on the exam day that is what matters but I am just here to provide you a simple suggestion one of my uh, personal you know experiences as well so I mean what I want to tell you is this that don't give too much importance to presentation uh, because what happens is in the quest of presenting very effectively we compromise on learning effectively and I would still say even in December I would say don't stop learning okay whatever syllabus you have with you don't hesitate in going beyond that syllabus and reading extra about it. That will actually, you know, help you in your examinations. It will be that extra weapon that you have that will help you ace the examination. So it's very important that you still focus on understanding concepts in depth, right? So my first thing is that instead of giving undue emphasis on presentation, on, you know, underlining and neat handwriting, I'm sure if you don't have a good handwriting, same goes with me also. Many a times I get this suggestion. I don't disregard it. I still focus on, you know, making uh, my handwriting more, uh, making my handwriting neater. But simultaneously, my focus is not only restricted to that. My focus is also on trying to read more, trying to interact more and trying to apply more. Because if you, you know, follow these three very, very basic steps, immediately you have you know an extra advantage an added advantage that will help you in our examinations and it will not in any way you know kind of deter you or kind of put your performance down right so it's important for you to understand the, the, the implications that this will have for you in your future as well so try and give importance to learning don't compromise on that and secondly if people tell you that it's uh, NCRT is your bible and all, go ahead, focus on NCRT, read NCRT very well, be thorough with it, but don't restrict yourself to it. If you want to score well in your examination and look ahead also, if you want to do ahead, in, uh, do well in your life as well, go beyond the textbook because, uh, I mean, okay, my personal view, NCRT to a certain extent provides restricted material. If you have an interest in a certain subject and you want to go beyond it, Please go ahead and do it. Don't restrain yourself. I'm telling this even in December, it won't harm your performance in any way. But yes, as your teachers tell you rightly, write and practice. Don't compromise in that. Write and practice so that you have an understanding and inkling as to what the situation would be in the examination. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, Go ahead, I'm sorry I've not been able to put videos for long but that's because of my studies as well. So I wish you best of luck for your pre-boards and subsequently for your board examinations as well. Stay in touch with you.